What's up, y'all? Uh, Jake Berkey here. I get a lot of questions about what type of materials that we use on these rock bounces as far as tubing goes. So I'm going to address that real quick and talk to you a little bit about what we use. Um, so on the main structure, on probably 90% of the buggy, we're going to use a 175 outside diameter, 120 wall DOM tubing. We use that because it's very strong and light for its size. You can use a chromoly and get away with like an 095 wall, save a little bit of weight. It's a little bit harder to weld, but uh, you could also use an HREW, which is a hot roll electrically welded seam tubing. Um, it's not as strong, and I don't recommend it. It's not as dense, and the reason is, is a DOM tubing is what's called drawn over mandrel. They take a regular piece of steel, and they run it through the mill, and when they do, they roll it through a pair of dies that basically forms the material into that round shape that you get. Um, it forces the material to become stronger because it compresses the particles when it does it. It's kind of like a forging process, whereas an electrically welded seam tubing is just a flat piece of steel that they roll into a round circle and then weld down the middle. So the material is not as dense and it's not as strong. So um, on the outside bars that we have here, we're going to use a 188 wall tubing, and that's a little bit stronger than the 120 uh, wall tubing. And the only reason that we're going to use that is because these are points that you generally when you're flipping down a mountain, you're gonna land on. So basically above my head right here on these B pillars and C pillars, we're gonna use the 188 wall tubing. And then over here on the bottom, basically where it's gonna take a bunch of pounding, we're gonna use a 188 wall tubing. Uh, 188 wall is also really good for using uh, axle trusses and things. You can use the 188 wall. You can run your four link off a of 188 wall. So that's an excellent choice for the rock bouncer. Now, we'll just fast forward over to here. I'm uh, working on this Polaris Razor right now. It's actually pretty cool. It's come out really, really good. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, that's what it looks like now. I uh, just got done doing some welding. It's actually still a little warm, but um, we use a 120 wall tubing when we're building these things. Um, some guys end up using a 095 wall tubing and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a little bit lighter. Um, it's going to give you a little bit better performance as far as, you know, acceleration and things because you don't have as much weight on the vehicle. But to me, a roll cage is built for safety and I'd rather go heavy and break an axle shaft than flip down a mountain and break a skull. So that's just me. I use a 120 wall tubing on all of my stuff here. So um, that should answer the question. Um, if y'all have anything else, shoot me a little Facebook message or whatever and I'll try to answer it. Um, you got a lot of positive feedback from these videos. Uh, uh, just let me know. Appreciate it.